ECDL Advanced, Excel, Lesson 61, Pivot Tables. So we're now starting the next section, Section 13, Pivot Tables. We're going to be discussing an introduction to pivot tables, then filtering a pivot table, and then grouping and sorting into pivot tables. After then, there will be a revision exercise. A pivot table organises and then summarises large amounts of data from any range that has labelled columns. Typically, two of the fields from the original data can act as the row and column headings for the new table. A third can optionally be used to group the tables into separate pages. Pivot tables are created by default on a separate worksheet but can be created on the same sheet by entering a starting cell reference that does not overlap with the original base data. OK, let's see that in practice. So, if you open the workbook survey, before we start, just notice there's only one worksheet here and it's called Survey Results. Click inside the list and from the Insert tab, go to the Tables group and select Pivot Table. The Create Pivot Table dialog box is displayed. The table range is selected correctly. The pivot table is to be created on a new worksheet, so just click OK. A blank pivot table is placed on a new sheet, this one Sheet 1, with the pivot table field list displayed. Also, note that two new ribbon tabs have been added. Pivot Table Analyze and Design. Fields are dragged from the Pivot Table field list to the Pivot Table areas. So drag Town to the Rows section. And Sex to the Columns section. Now if we wish to summarise the data, and we want to summarise it into area by the sex of the people in the survey. So drag the town field onto the values area. The default calculation for text fields is count. The pivot table has now been created. The data items are a count of the people surveyed, organised by town, and subdivided into males and females. Click on the sheet away from the pivot table and the pivot table field list will be hidden. Click inside the pivot table and the pivot table field list is redisplayed. To organize the table differently, the fields can be changed round, i.e. pivoted. Change town and sex over by dragging the buttons to each other's area in the pivot table field list. Observe the changes and then return town and sex to their original positions. Before we go further, just note that for Newcastle, the grand total was 43, and it was 17 females and 26 males. OK, let's make some changes to that. If we go to the Survey Results worksheet, and we're now going to make some changes to the town fields. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change that Durham and that Sunderland both to Newcastle. The pivot table will now be out of date. Click on Sheet 1, the sheet containing the pivot table, and click inside the table. As we can see, pivot tables do not automatically update. This still has 43 people in Newcastle, 
17 of which are female and 26 are male. If we go to Pivot Table Analyze up at the top and then go for the Data Group, if we click the Refresh button, we can now see that the pivot table has been updated. I'm just going to press Ctrl Z. As an alternative method to update a pivot table, if you have your active cell inside the table, right click it and then press refresh. OK, save this workbook as Survey 2 because we'll need it in this state for the next lesson. OK, I hope this has made sense and I look forward to seeing you next time.